Were you saying you saw lightning? I did see lightning coming in. It looked like a, a giant tornado south of the uh, interstate coming in tonight. Huh. And it was over the Owyhees, it looked like. And I didn't hear any thunder coming out of it, but... We know somebody who could probably answer questions like that for us. Yes, and, indeed. <laughs> and first of all, we'll be clear, it was not a giant tornado. No, no it, looked, no, it no. was not. It no. looked like a, <laughs> it a giant looked tornado. Like just the shape of the storm, and there are some storms that look like they're just about coming in to get you, but really, as the storm forms, the upper-level winds blow the clouds off the top out to the advance, and so when they're coming in from the south, you see that veil, that anvil top, as we call it, shaped like an anvil, comes right on over the area, and it just looks a lot worse than it is. It could take a while for the storms to come in, but we certainly did have a couple tonight. So here's some weather trivia for you guys, you guys listening over there. If you hear thunder 10 seconds after seeing lightning, how far away is it? One mile, two miles, or three miles? Roland, Michelle? I'm choosing A. Michelle says A, one uh, mile. Says three miles. Three miles. Ooh, I like that. This is really good because it's if I can get miles. this to work here. <laughs> oh, no, don't tell me that. There we go. Oh, we're both oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, he loves that. You both Great. missed it. So basically, it's five seconds per mile. So it takes five seconds for the sound yeah. okay. of the thunder to come in uh, afterwards. And so it's, it's five seconds per mile. So 10 seconds is two miles. So with that in mind, under 10 seconds from lightning to thunder, take shelter immediately because the storm is certainly getting close if the lightning strikes are getting closer. And then it all strike in the same spot and come in uniformly. There can be some coming in ahead of that. So keep that in mind. So how does the thunder occur? We talked about this the other day, rapid expansion and contraction of the air. So really what it is is we're heating this column of air. Uh, basically an electrical current is passing from the atmosphere to the ground. We're connecting almost a circuit here. What's happening is you heat it up to 30,000 degrees rapidly and then it's gone and that expansion of air and then it comes together like a big clap and there's the sound of your thunder. So you've got lightning, you've got thunder. And today we had thunderstorms tracking in and we had some dry airs, we had other storms tracking in. So we had a good deal of moisture coming in uh, in some areas and some places got none. Thursday, everybody's probably going to get some. Wednesday night and Thursday. Mm, all right. Don't need to water the lawns for a few yeah, days. Yeah. Come Wednesday, Thursday, you can kind of shut it off for a couple of days. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay.